Okay, today I'm going to solve a question. Okay, um, and the question reads: Oil with a density of 900 kg per meter cube flows in a 60 degree band with a velocity of 2 meter per second. The pressure upstream and downstream are 70 kPa and 65 kPa respectively. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the force flow exerts on the band if the diameter is 0.2 meters. The volume of the band is 0.3 meter cube. Okay. So basically what we have is we have a flow within the 60 degree band. It enters from here and exits from right over there. Okay. And I'm giving few information, so let's be careful to write it. So they say that the pressure here is 70 kilopascal right at the exit. Uh, the pressure here is 65 kilopascal. Okay. Let's continue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the steps that we established. The first step was to read the problem. Obviously, it's a, a dummy step in this particular approach because I'm doing it uh, for you. Okay. Step number two is dropping the control volume. Okay. Obviously, the, the control volume will be drawn like this. Okay. So I'm going to just pick the volume of the band over here. Okay. Right like that. In the third step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the special cases. Okay, so let's write here special cases, and I would like you to have a um, section of special cases. The first is steady. The question is: Is this steady? The answer is yes because I don't see any time dependent. Okay, is this incompressible? Yes because it's oil. Oil is a liquid, right? Third one is: it, Is this uniform? Yeah. I don't know anything about the flow distribution. They just told me that it's the 2 meter per second as the inlet velocity. Okay. After this, the next step is to establish which basic principles I need to use. Okay. So I'm given the velocity of inlet as 2. I know inlet. I know exit. Um, let's find the exit velocity just to be sure. Okay. As, as the, um, this will be fairly simple with these three assumptions. Uh, let's call this section 1. Let's call this section number 2. Uh, V1A1 will be equal to V2A2. Um, A1 is equal to A2, right? That's given to me. It's a constant diameter pipe. So then this becomes simply V1 is equal to V2 is equal to 2 meter per second. So this was fairly straightforward, okay? And I also need to do the conservation of momentum for sure because that is the only relationship that I have that gives me a nice equation and a relationship for the forces. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do the conservation of momentum. Okay, in this question, I have to repeat this analysis both in the x and y directions because they are asking me horizontal and vertical. Okay, so I'm going to start with drawing my free body diagram. Then I'm going to decide where to go from there. Okay, the free body diagram. Um, is basically I'm going to replicate, obviously I'm drawing the free body diagram of the control volume, okay? I'm not drawing the solid band portion included to this. We said that there are three types of forces. The first force is the pressure forces. Do I have pressure forces in here? Yes, I do, okay? This will be P1A1, okay? And P1 is equal to 70 kilopascal. P2A2, note that it's perpendicular, pushing it in, not out. Okay, it's P2A2, and P2 is equal to 65 kilopascal. Second, viscous forces. Well, here's the deal. I need to find the surface I can obtain if my viscosity was known. I can obtain my shear stress at the uh, walls, but then I need to know the length of the walls. That's not quite feasible. Maybe you can some, do some trick to find from here. The volume is given. You can find the length of it. So I'm going to simply say over here that this is inviscid, okay? So I don't want to deal with it because I was not even given the viscosity anyways in this particular question, okay? Next is to assess whether there is any weight, okay, body forces. And when I look at the body forces, the volume is given to me, so I should be able to calculate my, you know, weight, okay? Remember, this is weight of the control volume, not weight of the band, the solid uh, piece, okay? And remember, we discussed this, this is going to be the specific weight times the volume, okay? This is the same thing as mg, if you remember, mg is equal to, if I write m with respect to volume, it's going to be rho times volume times g. So now I draw my free body diagram, then the next step is to start with the extraction. Um, 
obviously I will have some kind of an Rx and Ry, that's what they're asking me to find. I mean, it goes without saying, right? That's what I'm being asked to find. One thing I'd like to highlight that do not think about whether I should, the Rx should be negative direction, it should be in the positive direction. Um, same thing for the Ry as well, okay? Um, it doesn't really matter. The mathematics will tell me whether my arbitrary selection of R of X direction and R of Y direction is correct or not. If it is incorrect, it's going to get a negative of, let's say, 50 Newtons. Then what I'm going to understand is, okay, the direction that I picked was incorrect. So the reality is it's in the opposite direction with a plus 50 of magnitude. Okay? All right. So let's just go to it. Um, let's start with the X direction. With these assumptions, the forces in the X will be equal to summation over the exits rho v x exit v n exit a exit minus over the inlets rho v x inlet v n inlet and a inlet. Okay, good. Now, let's write the left hand side into the uh, equation. So I can see that I have the P1A1, for sure. I have P1A1 aligned with the positive direction. Let's look at the P2A2. And remember that this is 60 degrees, right? So if I, pl let's plot over here. This is P2A2. And basically, this is 60 degrees, right? From geometry. So then what I'm going to obtain is, it's going to be P2A2 plus, because positive is this direction, right? Positive x is in this direction, so it's going to be plus sign P2A2 times cosine of 60, okay? So that's the first type of force. Second type of force, I don't have inviscid. I mean, I, I have inviscid, so I don't have to worry about it. Third type of force is the weight, but that's perpendicular to the extraction. The only thing I have is plus R of x will be equal to rho vx2 vn2 a2 minus rho vx1 vn1 a1 okay density is 900 that is given to me let's look at vx2 okay this one maybe we need to be careful so v2 is pointing out like that v2 okay so if you look at it the angle here is 60 okay and x is this way so from here you can see that the component of v2 in the x direction will be v2 times cosine of 60, but there's a negative sign, right? So that's going to be minus 2 times cosine of 60, right? How about vn2? vn2 will not have a negative in front of it, uh, and it's not going to have a cosine, so it will be 2, and a2 will be pi, 0 0.2 squared, divided by 4. Okay, let's look at the first term as well. That's going to be 900 again. That's given to me. Vx2. Let's take a look at the figure. Vx2 is itself, right? It's 2. Okay. So that will be 2. Vn1 will be 2. A1 will be just like the previous one because the areas are the same over 4. Okay. If I look at the equation, I know P1. That will be 70,000, right? Please do not forget to convert that to the Pascals from kilopascal. A1 is the same over there in the right hand side we written, so we know that P2 is 65,000 this time around. And A2 is again the same as A1, and I knew I know that, and I write it on the right hand side, cosine of 60. So basically, the only unknown in this particular equation is Rx. And if I go out and write my Rx value, it will be equal to 3,388 negative, okay, Newtons. But here's the deal. This minus 3,388 newtons is the force that I re that is required to hold the band in place. Okay. What is the force that the flow exerts on the pipe? Okay. The force that the flow exerts on the band is the negative of it. So actually, what I'm going to asking you to find is this direction, and that will be 3,388 newtons. That is the real answer. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the second component of this uh, question, which is finding the y direction. So I'm going to call this Fy will be equal to summation over the exits, row exit, Vy exit, Vn exit, 
a exit minus the same as inlets inlets draw v y inlet v n inlet a inlet okay now let's go ahead and look at what the forces are on the left hand side of the equation okay first of all the p1 a1 doesn't have a component in the y direction that's out the second one is if i look here p2 a2 times sine 60 but that will be a negative value right so and there's a there's a w that is also in the negative right okay so then what it will be is this ry which is positive minus p2 a2 sine 60 minus w and w is rho times g times the volume okay will be equal to rho vy2 vn2 a2 minus rho vy1 vn1 a1 let's first look at the left hand side so ry is being asked to me p2 is 65,000 again do not forget to convert a2 is pi 0.2 squared divided by 4 sine 60 is just a number in terms of the weight I do know density that is 900 I do know this acceleration due to gravity and this is given to me as 3, 0.3 meter cubed so that's I'm fine there as well let's look at the first term on the right hand side so it'll be 900 vy2 let's take a look and understand that okay so I'm looking at this one now okay vy2 is v2 times sine 60 and it's in the positive direction okay so that will be v2 sine 60 will be just v2 okay uh, actually if, if I insert it it's going to be 2 times sine 60 right uh, the number is given as 2 and the a is pi 0 0.2 square divided by 4 okay let's look at the second term this is 900 what is vy1 let's take a look vy1 is 0 look at it the velocity 1 is in the x direction a vector that is in the x direction doesn't have any component in the y direction because they're perpendicular to each other right so from that that becomes 0 so I don't have to really worry about this force okay so then at the end of the day what I'm gonna get from here for ry will be equal to 4514 newtons in the positive direction again just like I talked in the x direction in fact this force is required for me to hold this band in place okay but the question is asking me what is the force that the flow exerts on the band for that reason the real answer is it's pointing down and is for 4514 newtons